Hello and welcome to RPG Raspberry Pi Girls channel. Today we will be assembling the new ice tower cooler with the Raspberry Pi 4. We're also going to be explaining how the cooler works. We Lastly, we will be using Python code to control the speed of the fan. As you can see, there are four LEDs inside of the fan making it glow. Let's, Let's get, get started! started. Now we're gonna start assembling. So first, we need our supplies. So we have our ice tower cooler, our Raspberry Pi 4, our protector panel, our screwdriver, our a, a, a piece of thermal tape, eight copper sticks, four nuts, and six screws. And also, last but not least, two, Two mounting brackets. Okay, let's start assembling. So the heat from the CPU transfers to the thermal tape, which transfers to the copper heat pipe. In the copper heat pipe, there is an evaporator, which evaporates the heat and turns it into a gas. It rises up the copper heat pipes, and it spreads into the aluminum fins. The heat spreads out inside through the aluminum fins, and then the fan blows the heat out. It continues its way up the copper heat pipes and it condenses and turns back into a liquid and trickles down and repeats the process as long as the CPU remains hot. So, I have a question for you. Why do you have to use a thermal tape? If we don't have the thermal tape, there will be a gap between the CPU and the copper heat pipe. The gap between it will make the will have the heat transfer less. When you turn on the Raspberry Pi, the fan automatically starts to spin. Now we will be showing you how to control the fan speed. So first, we'll be going onto the manufacturer website, and you will see two methods. We will be doing method one first. Method one is showing you how to control the fan speed using the Raspberry Pi OS. Method 2 is showing you how to enable it using Python programming. We will first be using method 1. So you'll need to go onto command prompt or terminal and then you will type sudo raspi config. We'll go down all the way to performance options. Then you'll be going on to fan, press yes, okay, and once you go to this page, we'll change it into 60. You can only change it into 60 through 120 Celsius. Now you'll press okay. Okay, you'll go down to finish. And now press yes. You have rebooted it. We already booted the Raspberry Pi. How come the fan isn't spinning? Well, that's a great question. But before we answer it, we'll use this command and to check the temperature of our CPU. It says that our CPU's current temperature is 33 degrees Celsius. And since we changed the setting of the fan, on method one, 
so that way it had to be 60 degrees Celsius or higher in order to start spinning. Uh, it currently is not above 60 degrees Celsius, so it will not spin. Now let's go into method two. So first, before we start anything, we must make sure that our GPIO library has been installed. So for that, we'll use the command pip show rpi dot gpio. So we'll press enter. And then if it says version 0.7.0, .0, then that means that your library is okay. Next, you'll copy and paste this code. And then we will paste it on a new file. And on this file, it's and on this code, it says that once it is on 40 degrees Celsius, then it will spin. But currently, our CPU's temperature is 33 degrees Celsius, so we'll change this into hmm, maybe 30 degrees Celsius. And then we will save it and name it fan.py. Now we will run it. Let's dive into the code. This code initializes PWM. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. This shows that it is in um, pin 14 and the frequency is 100 hertz. Um, this code sets the duty cycle to 0%. And then, so over here, it shows if the, if the temperature is greater or equal to 30, then it will then the fan will then the duty cycle will be equal to 100 percent which means the fan will always run after that it will sleep for 0 0.05 seconds and then loop again but if the temperature isn't greater than 30 then it will change the duty cycle to zero and it will not spin the fan and then it'll sleep for 0 0.05 seconds and then loop again Okay, let's try if to see if we can change the duty cycle to 20. Okay, I'll save it and then run. It's barely spinning. In today's video, we showed you guys how to assemble the new ice towel cooler. We also explained how the fan works. Then we showed you two methods of how to control the speed of the fan. We also explained how the code works. Thanks for watching.